Before moving on to the MyLab, MyLab homework problems where we are asked to conduct hypothesis tests, a short review of using StatCrunch to find Z and T critical values is necessary. Examples from the notes in one of the homework problems will be presented. The test statistic method of hypothesis te testing introduced in the previous video requires that we calculate critical values Z or T from the significance level. Critical value or values are then compared with the test statistic. For the scope of this class, the p-value method is enough to decide whether to reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. However, the homework problems will require you find both critical values and test statistics. In the upcoming videos, this will be accomplished with StatCrunch. So we're finding critical values for the Z standard normal distribution, which that's for means with the population standard deviation given or for proportions. And the T distribution with the N minus one degrees of freedom, and that's for a mean with only a sample standard deviation given. So first we determine the significance level and determine whether the test is left-tailed, right-tailed, or two-tailed. For the problems we're gonna be doing, they're gonna tell you, uh, it'll be given in the problem what those significance levels are. So find the critical values when the hypothesis test is, and then it's two-tailed, left-tailed, or right-tailed. And we're gonna find it for part A, find the Z critical value for a two-tailed, left-tailed, or right-tailed test with alpha equals 0 0.05. For this stat task, we will use the StatCrunch normal calculator to find the Z critical values. So I have the, the um, images pasted in from using, we've used the standard normal uh, calculator quite a bit. Uh, hopefully everybody's um, comfortable with that at this point. But for the two-tailed test, it's a little bit different. We just take one, we subtract 0 0.05 to get 0.95. So if you'll notice, that's what I have entered in here. Uh, I want to identify this spot and this spot. And don't let the shading throw you off. The rejection regions are, are still in the tail. Um, so I end up with a negative 1.96 and a 1.96. Now, notice also I'm using the between. Uh, I'm clicking this between tab. See where it is gray right here to find when I have a two-tailed test, to find the critical value for a two-tailed test. Moving on, we're gonna to go to a left-tailed test and notice the P is X less than, there's the less than that's been changed there. Notice that we're now using the standard version of the normal calculator. And we put the 0 0.05, we don't have to do the subtraction step like we did before, um, and we get a, negative 1.645. And when we go to the right tail test with the uh, alpha of 0 0.05, we get what is expected, which is the inverse of this. Um, we're gonna put the 0 0.05, but this time we're looking at the right tail, so we've changed the direction of this sign and we get 1.645. So that's a review. We did that in chapter five and then again in chapter six. So hopefully everybody's okay with that. And then, uh, let's move on. Find the T critical value for a left-tailed, right-tailed, or two-tailed test with alpha equals 0 0.05 and N equals 20. Remember that we need the degrees of freedom. So we're going to use the T calculator in StatCrunch. And again, I'm going to show you the displays. Now, I'm going to do a homework problem with the T calculator. I'm actually going to pull StatCrunch up and we're going to walk through one. So I'm not going to do it again here. But again, I do the one, I mean, uh, one minus 0 0.05, and that's what, in here, I'm using the between function again with the T calculator. Um, notice I do 20 minus one, which is 19 for the degrees of freedom right here. We're gonna see that on the next problem as we walk through that. And when I uh, do that, I get a, a T uh, critical values of negative 2.093 and 2.093 for a two-tailed test. I'm expecting both a negative and a positive critical value. Moving on to a left-tailed test. We, again, we did the between here. Notice I've clicked the standard up here. The degrees of freedom is still 19. Alpha now 0 0.05. I've changed the direction of my inequality sign to point to the left. And we get one, a negative 1.73. So you notice it's slightly different from the Z-scores. Um, and then 
for the last example, when we go to the right, we just change the direction here, uh, put the 0 0.05, and we get, again, the inverse of the left tail test of uh, the opposite, which is 1.73. So that's a review from chapter six. Let's look at one of the homework questions that we have from this chapter. This is homework problem 16. It says, find the critical values in rejection region for the indicated t-test, level of significance alpha and sample size n. So it's a two-tailed test. 0 0.001 is my alpha, or 0 0.01 is my alpha, n equals 15. So if you look, my when I did my calculation, I've done it up here, 1 minus 0 0.01 equals 0 0.99 calculating my for my n minus 1 for degrees of freedom 15 minus 1 is 14 so the degree of freedom equals 14. I'm going to plug the 14 in here and the 0.99 in here I get a negative and, and click the between button up here negative 2.9768 in a positive. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull up let's see we got 14 and 99 I need to remember that I'm going to go ahead and pull up stat crunch I'm going to pull up the T calculator. Hopefully everybody see, can see that okay. My degrees of freedom was 14. Um, I'm going to use between. And I'm going to put the 0.99 in here. Zero point nine nine. When I click compute, And we see that we get the same negative 2.9768 and a positive 2.9768. Well, uh, that concludes this video. Uh, we're going to go on now to do examples from the homework where we're going to run some different hypothesis tests. I hope you all find this helpful and watch for the next video.